Hi guys, welcome to Kim's Creation, and I'm here to talk about games out of the box. What? I have a box on my head? Well, that's strange. Hmm, I wonder what we could make. So basically, all you do is you take your favorite game and you create it out of the box. Today, I was going to play the game Pig because I don't have any dice with me, so we're going to learn how to make a cube. And we're just going to turn that cube into a box. I believe you've seen JC's video on how to make a ball. Same exact procedure, except for instead of crushing the little tips around the cube, you just keep them nice and flat, so that way you have a perfect die. And the great thing is, is if you have friends over, everybody can make their own die. Oh, what do you see up there? That's our new addition to our family. It's our hairless cat doesn't have a name yet. We're still working on that. All right, off to play the game. I can't wait. All right, guys, so all we're gonna need to make um, a cube is a piece of paper. If you have a square piece of paper, well, that's just great. I did not. I have this from, you know, my, my printer paper. A pair of scissors or not, you do not need the scissors. The scissors are just if you would rather you know, cut them. Instead, I like to do the tear method, but again, you could totally have a pair of scissors. So all you do is need a piece of paper. What do you think? Should I make? I'll make a pink one. Why not? And because this end is kind of damaged end, I'm gonna cut that end off. So all you do is take your paper to make a box, because that's what we need is an even square. Oh, and you are gonna need a writing utensil. That was hiding on me. All you need to do to make a perfect square is just fold over your paper, just like so, all the way to the other edge. And when you're folding origami, it's best if you kind of come from the point right to the middle and out. And then same thing, out. And the reason is, is because if you, if you go in, your, your paper can do something like this which then you don't get that great fold. But um, I think that's easiest. So there we go. We've got that fold. And this part, you can either, you can just literally cut this off. Not a big deal. So I'll just start cutting it to show you. You're just gonna cut off this little flap right here. Shoot. But for me, I like to just fold it over my triangle, again, middle out, and you're gonna really wanna get those edges really good. And then what you do is you flip it over and then you just pull it away from itself. Look how beautiful that does. Look at that. And then do not throw this away. You can make many more dice that'll be about the size of this. Right now, we're gonna be making a cube about the size of this one, because that's the piece of paper I have. All right, so you're gonna open that up, and you see now you have this great crease. Well, we wanna have another one, because we need to find the, the center. So just fold it the opposite way. Again, line them up, come down, and out, out, there we are. And now you can see we have a beautiful center right there. So we got that done. All you need to do now is take this corner right here, fold it up to the peak, making sure that your line stay, your fold stays along that fold line. And again, middle out, middle out, flip it over. You're gonna take that same corner because you flipped it over and go up with it again, right to the peak. Go right to the middle, out, out. So now you have something, it has a triangle, has a triangle. Now you're gonna find the middle of this right there. Open it up and fold it out. So all I did was I took this and opened it and folded it flat. What this does is puts those triangles inside. 
So now you have a nice flat triangle again. All right, you got your peak up top. I always like to keep pushing down, pushing down, keeping those creases going. Same, same, same thing right here. You're just gonna, you're gonna fold it up right to the peak, just like you just did and crease it. Do it to the other side, fold it up to the peak, just crease it. You should have a nice little diamond right there in the middle. Flip it over, same thing, fold it up. <clears throat> and as you can see right here, we're basically just making a bunch of triangles and these triangles are, is what's gonna be creating these folds. You can see that I didn't have a perfect cut right there. If that really bothers you, you can just cut it off. For me, I don't mind. I think it adds some character. And then fold it up. There we go. So now you have different triangles right here. Now all you're going to do is, again, same corner. You're just going to go right into that middle. Fold it right into the middle. Try not to go over the middle because it won't be able to do what it needs to do just like so. Do the same thing to the other side. Fold it right over. Push it down. Mm, mm, mm. Alrighty, so there you go, you've got that now. See how there's flaps right here? You're just gonna, again, make that triangle so it goes along this line right here. Just make that triangle and then fold it back. The reason why you fold it back, you don't have to fold it back, but it just makes it easier when you get ready to open up this little pocket that we've created. See this little pocket? And you literally are just gonna stuff that triangle right into its pocket, just like so. Perfect. Now, let's do the other side. Take that little flap. When you take that flap, you just fold it along that edge, creating a nice triangle. Fold that triangle over, like that. Find your pocket. See that little pocket right there? You can kind of squeeze these edges. Stick that triangle in. Look at that, it stays together nicely. Flip it over. We're gonna do the same exact thing. Take this edge. Fold it right up to the peak. Take this other one, fold it right up to the peak. And you can tell they're like little legs. They fold up ever so nicely, right? Okay, so now we've got our little corner right there. So you can kind of just see that edge. I just want you to be able to see how I can see that point. So when you fold it up, it kind of gives you that middle part. So just like before, we're just gonna fold in the edge, giving us a smaller triangle. Fold in the other edge. So we have something that looks just like this. Find the feet. Nope, those aren't the feet. Oh, there's the feet. Fold your triangle down, right along that edge. And then fold it over. Do you remember what we're gonna do? That's right. We're gonna squeeze the sides a little bit and we're gonna try to find that pocket. Stick that triangle top in. There we are. And do the same thing. Take that triangle, go along the other triangle, fold it over. And now find the pocket. Stick that in. Oh, sometimes it's not really that easy. Stick it in. Look at that. And now you have something that looks like this. Kind of, you could make it a ship. It's actually a starting of kind of like a frog. But what I'm looking for when I keep spinning it is notice when I open this up, there's no hole. I'm looking for that. And what you do is you're gonna lightly lightly blow into that hole because if you do it too hard you're going to create a ball we want to keep it into a box form and when you do blow i like to hold my hand or my finger on the bottom to kind of help push it up a little bit so 
So look, I have to blow it a little bit harder. It's starting to create that box. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of help right there. And it's a really humid day out. So my paper is having a really hard time um, keeping with those gorgeous folds. And I'm afraid if I blow into too hard. So all I'm gonna do is just crease my corners down because I really want it to be a, a cube. And just you just kind of are like pulling out these edges. Pulling out those edges and creasing them. And I guess your cube can kind of be a, a ball if you wanted. So there you go. And you can tape these if you want, but I don't really think you need to. They kind of stay together nicely, especially for the short time that you're going to be playing the game. And now all you do is you just write your numbers. One, two, three. Hmm. I'm going to make this one four, five, and where's my last one? Ah, right here. Six. You have just learned how to make a cube, which is going to turn into your die. All right, so let's play the game pig. So in order to play the game pig, all you need to do is everybody has to have a piece of paper. What better piece of paper than the one that I told you not to just to, to get rid of. So I'm gonna have the pink one because I chose pink. And again, the, the game is called pig. And all you do is everybody takes turn rolling the dice, their own dice, because everybody's gonna be making their own. And you just roll it. And what you're trying to do is not get a number one. So I just got two. So I'm gonna write down, I can either write the number two, or if that's hard for me, I can just do lines. I personally like the tally lines, it's a lot easier. You know what, I think I'm gonna roll again. Oh, look at that. I got lucky. I got the number five. So I'm going to do five tally lines. So I have one, two, right? One, two, three, four, five. You can make the score go to whatever you want. Um, you can have the score go to 100. You can have it go to 50. You decide how long you want your game. So, so far right now, I have seven points. I think I'm going to try my luck and roll again. Oh, no! I got a one! If you get a one, your turn is over, and guess what? No points. Just like that, no points. Crazy. You could even, you can even do like a score to a million if you wanted, and like that could be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, things like that. Um, now it's the next person's turn. They're gonna roll their their die, and you can stop at any time. You can only just, you can just roll once, and be happy with that. Or you can keep trying your luck, but as you can see, the more times you roll, the chances of you getting a one are gonna be very great. So, that's it for playing the, the first the first game of Pig. Uh, it's just one die, and again, you just, it, you just keep rolling, and the first one to 100 wins, or whatever number you choose. It's a really fun game, because you could get all the way to, it's like, say, 99, and you decide, I'm going to roll just one more time. And you lose all your points and start over again. I hope you guys have fun with this game, Pig. And you can also use these uh, cubes that I just taught you. Not just for a die, but you can actually put little treats and trinkets in there. And maybe give it to a friend. And you could, like, you know, put, like, a little... Um, let's just see like a four leaf clover in there and you could write messages on the box instead. Basically, this is just a cube so you can hide things in it or you can play awesome games and it's like your die. Have fun with the game. All right, that was it for the game of pig. I hope you had a fun time. There's many variations. Uh, so you can look them up and check out some different variations yourself. Other variations have two die, and we just use the we just use the one, uh, ver the the one die variation. So um, have fun. Bye.